What's going on guys, it's Andy. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at an iPad Pro. This is a 12.9 inch iPad Pro third generation. And what we're gonna be hopefully doing is jailbreaking it. Now this is something I have not done yet. So this is gonna be real time what I experience and hopefully kind of show you what you can expect going through this process if you choose to do so. So the easiest way to tell other than checking the settings if you've got a third or fourth generation because they are identical in every way except for the camera layout. So this is a third generation camera layout. And then if we take a look at this fourth generation, you can see it has more like the um, iPhone 11 Pro. So it's got that big square, kind of a cluster of cameras. Whereas the third generation, again, identical in every other way, the camera is the only difference. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and let's open this up here. We'll go ahead and get it unlocked. And we're just going to turn it sideways. So this is the website we're going to be using, and I will go ahead and link this in the description below so that you guys can get to this more quickly. A couple of things that I'll go through because I did troubleshoot a little bit. Like I said, I haven't gone through this process yet, but I was having an issue that you will likely have on your iPad Pro as well. Um, and I'll just kind of show you how to fix that pretty easily. So this is the website here. Now, when you're talking about jailbreaking such an expensive device, because the iPad Pro, as you know, if you own one, is not um, not the cheapest thing in the world. So we want to make sure we're crossing all the T's and dotting all the I's going through this process. So the first thing we want to look at here is the supported uh, OS version, so Xeon compatibility. We're looking at iPad OS 14.1, and that is what's on my device. And then you can also see the list of devices that this is compatible with. So we're looking for mine, which is an iPad Pro third generation. If we zoom in, you can see iPad Pro third generation. And so to check that, we'll just jump into the settings, click on the about, and then you can see um, that I have iOS 14.1, model name, iPad Pro 12.9 inch third generation. So everything should be good. Now, the thing that I wanted to tell you that is uh, worth checking in case you have any issues is if you go into Safari, you do have to use the Safari browser for this to work, first of all. But the issue I was having before I changed this setting is whenever I clicked the download Xeon, it would say that I was on a desktop and I needed to be on a, a mobile uh, Safari browser on my iPad. So all I had to do is if you scroll down here, there's this tab that says request desktop site. If you click that, It'll say all websites by default mine was enabled just go ahead and flip that off so it's not getting the desktop site and th that's what seems to have been causing the issue so now that we have done that we can jump back into safari where we left off and you can see how to install and you can see it's a pretty short list of things to do so the first thing you're going to need to do is just download xeon give it just a second and this right here after it loaded it would just pop up in red you know that i was on a desktop browser and that i needed to be on um, an iPad browser for this to work. Okay. All right, so now it's saying we have to open the settings. Don't remember where it said that was. Let's see. Settings at the very top, I guess. Profile downloaded. Look at that. Okay, so then I guess we're just going to want to click install. I'm going to enter my passcode here. All right, and install profile. Okay, profile installed. Now that that's done, let's jump back over here see what we need to do. So download Xeon, so we've done that, and it will download the device settings. Profile download, we've done that. Install process will complete within a few seconds. So you can find the Xeon app on your iPhone slash iPad springbo springboard. Find jailbreak repo extractor that is compatible. Okay, so let's check the springboard here. And there it is, Xeon. Okay, so this is our jailbreak store essentially just to install repos and different things it's been years and years since i have jailbroken an ipad or a, a, an ios device the last one i did was probably about eight or nine years ago when the ipad 
3 or iPad 4 was new. So if that gives you any idea, it's been a while. So I've got a lot to learn going back through this. So I know one thing that we want is going to be... Did it say the repo extractor? Jailbreak repo extractor. Okay. So let's go ahead and get that. Premium. Let's see what that costs. Donate and update. Okay. All right, so it looks like $10. Okay, guys, so I just went through the process for upgrading to premium through the Xeon app, and it was just a matter of, you know, using PayPal to go ahead and donate the $10 to access all the features, and I think that's worth it to be able to get it done, and especially since the rest of it was free, you know, in 2020, nothing's really free anymore, so I kind of expected something would be coming up, but anyway, so... After I did that, I was emailed a code. I had to copy that code and then go to the upgrade within Xeon, and it's right at the top. It's pretty easy to find. Um, click on that, paste that code in there, and then click update, and then it then sent me another uh, profile to install just to update the app saying that I have premium features. So I'm just gonna do that now. Again, enter my passcode for the device, install. That's done. So now I think we can go back into the Xeon app and we should have access to the premium features. Yep. So now we'll do the repo extractor. We'll install. Allow. Profile downloaded. So that'll be in the settings again. And then Cydia, I know we want. So we'll click install. Allow. Okay, so let's go back and install those profiles. So install Cydia, passcode, install, done. And I guess you can only do one at a time. So let's go back and install that Xeon repo extractor. We'll click install at the top, allow, close, jump into your settings, profile downloaded, Install, passcode, okay. So that is installed as well. And now you can see we've got those three options. And if you click on it, then you can just remove it there. But now I think if we go back to our home screen, now we have Cydia and the repo extractor. So there it is. So now we've got Cydia loading, there it is. So now we've got Cydia, which if you are familiar with jailbreaking is really kind of the the end game. And from what I understand, this is kind of a light um, jailbreak, um, but this, it's just a matter of doing some experimenting and trying to figure out exactly what we can do. But I hope that helped you guys. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. I'd be happy to communicate with everybody that I can. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and click the like button there. If you wanna support what I'm doing on my channel, please click the subscribe button. And uh, if you want to make sure you, you know, don't miss my next video, click that bell icon to get notifications. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a good one.